Welcome back, YouTube, to another episode of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Here today, I'm going to showcase this deck that I've been toying with. Um, it's been a lot of fun playing. Um, this is Speed Latios Donk. Uh, probably not going to keep the whole name in the description or the title, whatever. Just probably going to be Latios Donk, but yeah. Um, this deck has been a lot of fun. Whoa, what am I doing with my life? Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, this deck has been a lot of fun. Uh, the idea of the entire deck is to use this Latios right here for the fast raid attack. Um, does 40 damage for one energy. It says if you go first, you can use this attack on your first turn. Um, what you do with this, the idea is to get a turn one donk on your opponent's Pokemon and leave them with no Pokemon left. So the entire idea of this deck is just to hope that they don't start with anything else besides a 90 HP or less uh, basic Pokemon. So what you can do is, you run through your deck pretty fast, you run 4 Acrobike. Uh, this helps you draw through your deck a lot faster, get all the resources you need. Uh, we play 3 Trainer's Mail, just helps with a lot more speed, again. Um, and then we use cards such as Muscle Band, does 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon for your attacks. Uh, laser, to put your opponent's active Pokemon to sleep, or to poison them, and then flip coin if they're asleep. And then combine this with Verbeck City Gym and put two more damage cards of Poison Pokemon between turns. This all adds up to at least 90 damage that you can do on your first turn, even if you go first. So the idea of the deck is to try to go first. Um, first ticket isn't a thing anymore, so that kind of ruins the deck um, by a little bit. I mean, it still works sometimes. Uh, this is nothing more than a bad deck, but it's a lot of fun. And the idea is just to do 40 on your first turn, try to get all these things out really fast by using Acrobike, uh, Trainer's Mail. You have one Shaman. Uh, I would add a little bit more, but it really, really sucks starting with him. Um, so I only run the one just to mitigate the possibilities of starting with him. Uh, we're going to run one Computer Search. Again, just helps with consistency, just helps you get things out. Uh, I always run one Tech Enhanced Hammer in most of my decks. Uh, really helps slow down the game if it's going too fast on your, my opponent's side. Uh, we play... Whoa, I'm just doing it again. Alright, there we go. Run one max potion, because you use minimal energy on your Pokemon, uh, so you can just heal the damage from your active, or your bench, or whatever, and set your opponent back some turns. Run a prof letter, just so you can search out energies in case you whiff the actual energy. Uh, play a couple switch. This is mostly in case we start Shaman, because that really sucks. We start three. Uh, we play three Ultra Ball because you only play five basics in the deck, so you have to start with at least one, and you're probably going to draw into another one sometime soon. So that's why I don't max out to four. Um, play four VS Seeker because getting back supporters is really good. <clears throat> I decided to throw in one Iris here because sometimes in the late game. Or sometimes even in the early game, if your opponent takes a really fast prize, you can use this just to get a quick, easy knockout. And it's also a really fun card, just to put in a bad deck. Oh my lord, my computer's not quite doing that. Alright, and then we run two Lysander, switch your opponent's Pokemon, really good supporter. You play 3N, if it'll pop up here, there we go. Uh, each player shuffles his or her hand, and they draw a deck, and then draws a card for each man. Pirates card, yada, yada, yada. Y'all already know what this is. This is probably one of the best supporters in the game. Probably everyone's favorite card. Uh, Juniper, run three of these, just because we don't really need to run the maximum four. Because uh, we have a lot of other draw cards, and we're probably going to be drawing to this a lot. We also have VS Seeker. Uh, discard your hand, draw seven cards. Really simple. Probably one of the best supporters in the game also. We run one Shadow Triad. This is strictly to get back lasers. Um, I tried it without this, and this actually helps a lot in the late game, especially when you're running low on resources. This can just help stall the game or get that extra damage you need just to knock out your opponent. Run one Zerosic, just in case Toad, because Toad sucks. Uh, three Burbank, already went over that. We run four Muscle Band. This is just... Oops, sorry. This is just so that you can help maximize your chances of getting that turn one at least 60 damage. Um, really good card. We run two Head Ringer, just because if your opponent starts an EX, then you can just throw this on them, hit them for 90 at least, and then stall them out of the turn. Uh, really good. We run four Double Dragon Energy. Um, probably one of the best energy cards I've seen as of late. 
It only works with Dragon Pokemon, but just two Rainbow Energy for free is insane. And uh, I didn't show this, actually. What you can do is, while you're hitting with this Latios, you can actually start powering this one up to get that late-game sweep with the Luster Purge attack. Um, you can attach a double Dragon Energy, then a basic Psychic, to do 150, and then plus Muscle Band, you're doing 170. Really good attack. Um, you discard all your energy, but it's not supposed to be used for anything more than a last uh, last turn sweep. And here we just run six basic psychic energy. Um, you don't really want to run water in here, just because you want to get that turn one fast raid, which takes the psychic. So running water and drawing that just kind of sucks. All right, so thank y'all for looking at the deck, and we're gonna go see it in action. So let's go to versus. Oh, load. There we go. Sweet. And I'm on the ladder right here. I'm almost finished with this. I think you need to win like three more games to get that full art. So we're going in against Johnny Love. He's playing a grass and colorless deck. And flips heads. Let's hope we go first. Nope, my opponent is going first. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, hopefully... He starts a basic Pokemon and no others. And surprisingly, I don't mulligan. Usually I mulligan a lot with this deck. And I actually start two basic uh, Latios, fast raid ones. And they did not start with one basic Pokemon, so this game is going to be a little drawn out. We actually see him start with a Virizion, so this is actually perfect because I started Head Ringer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is play an Acrobike and a Trainer's Mail, attach this Head Ringer up here, attach the Muscle Band. Um, I saw he runs lasers, so if he lasers me, I'm just going to switch into this other one. So I'll probably be able to lay down this hand pretty fast. Um, this is probably going to be that Delta Plus uh, Dust Hawks. All right, so we see this. I'm going to attach double muscle band just so that I can't be head ringer or anything. So I'm going to attach this to the active, make sure that he does not get that free turn of attack. And I'm going to... Trainer's Mail into three Acro Bikes and muscle, or Laser. Wow! Right, so I'm going to Acro Bike once. I'm actually going to grab the Juniper just because Lasers are going to be worthless in this matchup. As of now, uh, Acro Bike. No, 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 not that one. I'm actually going to grab the Professor's Letter so that I can get that energy and attach to Latios right now. And then I'm just going to Juniper my hand away. Uh, why not? I'm going to play Switch. Attach it there, and I'll Juniper my hand away. Okay, so probably not going to play down the Verbank, just because in case he plays down the stadium, I can bump his. Uh, I'm going to play the Acro Bike just to see what I can draw. I'm going to take the Psychic Energy and dump the Laser, just because Laser's worthless. And I'm just going to hit for a simple 60 damage. And then we're going to see what he can do after this. Yeah, the turn one donk doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it's really good. Um, hoping they can start with a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Even if they start, like, two Pokemon that have 90 HP or less, that's still a really good position for me to be in. Because I can knock out the active, and then they send up the other one, and then that one gets knocked out. And we see him play Verbing. Okay. I did not say that coming. So, I'm going to get put to sleep. That kind of sucks. And this is actually why we run the Mega Latios, is because we can just evolve and then negate poison damage. And then just in case any snipe things like the Shaman right here. So we see two Grass Energy going on there. That's cool. Um, I'm actually going to do this right here. I'm going to Zerosic off this DC and hope that he can't attack again. I'm going to take 30 damage and then 60 damage coming back into my turn, but hopefully I don't get knocked out. I do have another switch in the deck, so I'm going to be able to fast rate for 60. And then hopefully I'll be able to get off another attack if he doesn't attach another DC. So we see one in the discard and two grass. I mean, hopefully he doesn't evolve into dust tox and then retreat and then just attack with that. Oh no, we see a Pokemon center later. That is not good. And the DC. Oh no. That sucks. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is cry. No, let's not do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a Psychic here. I'm going to play it on the Shaman. I'm going to draw one card. 
and we draw double jacket energy. That's going to be perfect. Okay, so what I want to do is probably N, just so that he can't keep those prize cards. Hopefully he gets something bad. Hmm. We draw the Mega Latios. Do I want to play that? Because I can knock this out, knock this out, and then knock out a Dust Tox. I'll take 50 damage, but that's okay. You know, let's just go for it. My turn's going to end, but that's okay. He's going to hit me for 50 damage at most, or maybe a little bit more with this Dust Tox if he brings it out. Um, I haven't taken any prize cards, so this Shaman is just fine. But, oh, he uses Herbal Energy. But that's okay, because I have Muscle Band on here, so if I need to attack the active, I can. But I think first I'm going to take out the Shaman, because this Shaman is very scary. So yeah, we're going to see the 50 damage. He's going to power up two more energy. Ooh, and he only touches one, so that is perfect. Yeah, I'm going to Ultra Ball away these four banks. I'm going to grab this Latios with the Luster Purge, just because he's running a lot of Rizian, so he can do all that. I attach here, I'm going to end. And then I'm going to Sonic Ace this Shaman. Um, what do I want to discard? No. Let's. Ah, oh shit, already. Dead. Okay, so I'm just going to discard these two psychics. Whatever. And then I can just attach another one. But let's knock out this Shaman. 120 damage. And you practice. Goodbye, Shaman. Okay, so I'm going to get lasered again. Oh. So if I wake up, I'm going to retreat, then switch. And then he has the Dust Tox out. Grand. Luckily, he only has two energy tests, so the most he can do is 20 damage to the active. So we're going to let him do all this. And even if he retreats, I can still bring him back in. Ooh, we see another Shaman drop and another Shaman drop. So this could actually work a lot in my favor. He's going to Evo Soda, probably. Oh, uh, Cascoon, Silcoon, whichever one. Silcoon, that's right. Um, wait, doesn't Cascoon evolve from this one? Oh, so he plays a Beautifly too, so I'm guessing he's going to get out that uh, Safeguard one. Uh, wonderful Scales, I believe it's called. Marvelous Scale, I think. Yeah, Marvelous Scale. So he's going to Steven for a Wally and a Grass Energy. Ooh, this is getting dicey. So hopefully I wake up on this flip, and if I don't, that is going to suck. Because if I wake up, then I'll be in a very good position. Oh, he's going to hit me for 80. So I'll have 90 left. And then I'll probably just take out the shame again. And I wake up! Yes! Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to retreat to this one. Switch back just to get off that poison damage. I'm going to trainer's mail to get out a head ringer. And I'm going to head ringer this because I'm just going to knock out the shaman anyway. Um... Attach a psychic here so that I can sign a case. And I will touch a muscle band here. And I will. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to Lysander up this Verizian so that he cannot hurt me. And then I can. If, he's, if I stall him out, then I can Lysander this one, hopefully for the knockouts. If I draw another double dragon. Okay, so I'm going to Sonic Ace, discard this, and get rid of that Revenge Blast Shaman. Because that thing is very scary. And I whiff the Double Dragon. Okay, so hopefully I can train his mail into computer search. Unless both my Double Dragons are prized. <laughs> That'd be great. Hopefully I can get it. And if I do, then I win. I can take out this version. So when I was building this deck, I had originally planned just for the turn one lot. Uh, donk. That's what I was building the deck around, just pure speed. But then eventually I tried to, uh, you know, run this deck down to where I can survive the late game as well. Because the way I had it originally, it would only get going in the first rounds of, or the first turns of the game, and then it would just peter out eventually. And it sucked. Ooh. Okay. We see a Lassander. That kind of stinks. Ooh, 
and I am out of switch, actually. So maybe I'll just mock flight. And then 40, then he can't retreat. That's actually going to work out in my favor. Thank you, dude. Hopefully I double, draw double dragon energy, though. I need to draw that first. Oh, no, he retreated. <laughs> Got me. Okay, so what I'm going to hope for is enhanced hammer so I can get rid of this DC so that he still can't attack. Um, he's going to accelerate zero energy, and we hit the double dragon. That is perfect. I need trainer's mail for computer search. Sweet. I'm actually going to computer search away the shadow triad and the laser just because those are worthless. And hopefully I didn't prize enhanced hammer, and I did not. So there it is. I'm going to enhanced hammer this DC. I think he actually has like two in here. Yeah, he has two, so he probably has two left if he plays four, which he should because I can set that wind charge really quick. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'm actually going to VS Seeker for Lysander. I'm going to Lysander up this Verizian because if I Lysander up Shaman, he could test DC and Sky Return. But I'm going to hit this one for Mach Flight so that he cannot retreat. He must have a switch or escape rope. And that puts me in a really good position to win. Because then I can just Luster Purge. Gotta like that attack name. Luster Purge. That's pretty tight. So we see him do evolve into the beautiful line I was right. Oh, no, it was Miraculous. Damn it. I thought it was Marvelous. Whatever. Same difference. Yeah, this one is the Safeguard Beautiful Eye. All damage is prevented from Pokemon EX. However, um, effects of attacks are still included. And we see him bring back the Shaman. So I'm just going to ditch my whole hand and hope for an energy. And I do not whiff. So I'm going to attach this one just so I can discard as much energy as possible. Let's Luster Purge for the knockout and the game. He said, suck my D. LOL, dude. This is going on YouTube. I hope you're happy with yourself. Any love, guys. He needs some love, apparently. Alright, we're going to play another game, just because that one was kind of short. Um, let's hope for another donk. Not another donk, but a single donk. Uh, loading, loading, loading. Alright. And heads, let's see if we go first. Damn it. Hey, dude, let me go first. No? Alright. See how it is. And no, we start with Shaman. Usually in these games I just scoop, but I'm going to actually try to play it out because I have played them out before and sometimes I've won. Sometimes I've lost. So we're going to see a Battle Compressor out. This is obviously ground on just because of the sleeves and stuff. And usually don't play Battle Compressor and Fighting Decks unless it's with Primal Ground on. Because then you could just Shadow Power and Mega Turbo and stuff. So we're going to see... Oh, what is in here? Two Fighting Energy and a Lysander. Smart play, smart play. And here comes the Groudon. <laughs> so I am probably going to lose this. I ha I do not have a good time against Groudon. Uh, but we are going to see... See Groudon Spirit Link, Scorched Earth. Um... If I don't draw anything right here, I might actually just go for a really, really slow conservative play. And I'll probably just Zerosic off this. No, maybe not. Let's think about Zerosic off this tool. You know what, let's do this. Just so that he can end his turn. Let's do that. And let's head ringer. And I'll end turn. It's probably not the best play, but it is going to maybe guarantee me a turn unless he uses Tool Retriever. Which most people do not play. He's going to play Karina, and hopefully he doesn't go for that. So we see the Primal. And what else? Ooh, there we go. Two fighting energy, you know, big surprise. I see trainer's mail going for a VS seeker, gold VS seeker. Alright, so I'm gonna have to end here, which kinda stinks. 
Uh, but we do get energy muscle band switch, so that was actually a pretty good switch. Or er, and so we're gonna hit this Slanders for 60, and then he'll still take at least two more turns just to set up. So we see the Groudon drop and a Karina. He's going to get out a Landorus and a Mega Turbo. And we see the Mega Turbo attaching. Trainer's Mail. I hope he attaches a special energy to this Groudon because then I could just ham uh, enhance hammer it away. That'd be cool. Let's take Groudon Spirit Link coming out. Fantastic. Why would you play energy retrieval? Whatever, I'm not playing the deck. So we're going to see him take out those two basic fightings. He's going to play Ultra Ball. Ooh, did he discard those again? No, he discards the worst kind of fighting energy. Okay, I guess that's smart. And he tests that for turn. So this Groudon is all ready to go. That kind of stinks. We're going to Ultra Ball away these two. I'm going to grab out. Yeah, now I'm going to grab out the Luster Purge Mock Flight 1. Bench that so I can start charging up with Luster Purge. Set that down. Set this down. Um, I'm just going to Fast Raid for the Knockout. I'm probably going to get knocked out myself. Go back into my turn. Uh, one prize. Okay. Okay, so lasers can't hurt him. Uh, enhanced hammer doesn't hurt him. So he is currently knocking me out. Which kind of stinks. But whatever. So he's going to Zerosic. He's going to take off this double dragon energy. That stinks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big surprise. Woo! Knockout. He's a big un. He's a big un. Alright, so I'm going to send this one up. Probably not the best idea, but you know what? I pretty much don't have anything better to do. That's Trainer's Mail first. I'm going to get out a laser. Uh, done? Okay, there we go. Let us... Ooh. I'm just going to end him right here. And I'm going to Ultra Ball away this Max Potion and Laser. Those are both pretty much worthless in this entire game. I pretty much lost this one just because I suck at this game, I guess. And I whiff. Yeah, he's probably just going to set down another stadium and smack me around for a lot of damage. We see a Via Seeker going for Lysander. He's going to bring out the Shaman Watch. Oh no, he's going to bring out this one. And why in the world does he have six energy tests? That is not necessary. And you know what? I'm going to try to stick it out. I'm going to end him again. Two cards. Hopefully he doesn't draw anything. It's Acro Bike. i got a Verb. No, let's not get that. i to discard that. What am I thinking? So we see muscle band. Attach that here. I'm gonna mock flight for 60. Ooh, even if I luster purge next turn, it's still not a knockout. That's upsetting. Ugh. And we see a third energy go on to this problem ground. And he has seven energy attached. Holy cow. So maybe what I can do is play around this Pokemon. Maybe I can plus or mock flight one of these shamans away and enhance hammer. Damn it. Okay. So I do have a Lysander in here, so if I can hit the Lysander. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. Okay, so via Seeker Lysander. Okay. Now we're going somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to via seeker for a Lysander. I'm going to Lysander up this Shaman. I'm going to laser it and put it to sleep. Not really that big of a deal because he won't be able to retreat anyway. 
I'll mock flight for 60, then he'll go up to 70 with poison. And time to pray. Alright, so we see a VS taker for Karina. Hopefully it doesn't take out a switch. And there it is. Alright, I'm just gonna scoop. I don't want to give him the satisfaction. Ha ha ha. Five trainer tokens, that's cool. So I'm gonna play probably one more. Go up to the 30 minute mark. Hopefully it doesn't go over. Just because I really don't feel like uploading this long of a video. But if it does, that is okay. Give you all something to watch. This was very fun. It shows how the deck works and shows how it wins and how it loses. Very indeed. Very much indeed. And tails. So, oh, I've not been able to go first at all. Alright, so I whiff a basic. And oh my god, I start with Shaman again. Alright, that is fine. I prepare for these. Alright, he starts Ralt, so hopefully this is the only basic he plays. Maybe he'll be able to get a knockout, and he flips heads on a roll skates, draws three cards. He's probably going to get out another basic. And he's going to play Sharon to draw another three. Holy crap. Where is Ambipom? And Rocky Helmet. There's a Skitty. Oh, this is going to be the only way I'll be able to win this is by a theme deck. This is just a theme deck. Whatever. It's probably because I'm just a big loser. Getting all wiped down the leaderboard. Wow, I whiff. <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm going to laser him, put him to sleep. He's probably going to evolve, so, you know, whatever. He's going to take 30. And he won't be able to knock me out. He stays asleep, but that's okay. Right, he's going to Wally. So he's probably going to go into Curlia here. And there it is. He will not be able to knock me out. No matter what. And double slap does 20. Oh man. I am in for it now, buddy. A laser tails. I want to shadow try for another one. Try it again. It's got a flip tail. Ooh, it's a head. Sweet. I'm gonna pass. He wakes up. That is cool. I am probably gonna get knocked out. That is gonna be awesome. Ooh, there we see it. I got laid. That is not pretty. Oh, wait, even if he attaches energy, he still won't be able to knock me out. Unless he plays a tech laser, then I will be screwed. So there he's going to be able to do 80, which is what he does. I have 10 HP left. It all depends on the top deck, and I whiff. All right, but I'm going to put him to sleep. I want to laser him, at least. I have a VS Seeker for Shadow Triad. Try this again. Here we go. Laser. It is heads. Okay, so if I pass, he stays asleep. This will be okay, but if not, I lose. And he wakes up. All right, I'm going to concede. <laughs> All right, thank you all for watching. This deck is really stupid and really bad, but I like it. I enjoy it. Uh, I don't know. I think I won like 39 out of 62, 63 games. So I've won over half of them, so that's pretty good. All right, thank you all for watching. If you haven't liked this video, it helps us a lot. Subscribe if you want to. We put up a lot of new content, hopefully in the near future. 
Um, and comments if you want, and tell me what you think about this deck. Uh, see y'all later. Bye.